Little Italy is a very successful business model, but it is an ethnic amusement park. It's an imagined understanding of Italian culture. Every culture is a combination of facts and fiction. But we all have to start from somewhere. And so stereotypes can be a point of departure. Clarissa Clou is Professor of Italian Language and Culture and current Chair of the Department of European Studies. From literature, music and film, to post-colonial migration and diaspora studies, feminist and queer studies, Dr. Clou's research and teaching presents a picture of contemporary Italian culture that is often at odds with its national identity. In my classes, we bring in a discussion of Italy that is informed by the diversity of race and cultures. Even in Italy, it's not true that we are all uniform. Dr. Clo's most recent work puts a spotlight on the subculture of Italian hip-hop. She is the curator of SDSU Library's Italian hip-hop collection. And this summer, Dr. Clo was awarded the Fleano Prize in Italy for her contributions to the biography of Amia Risa, one of Italian hip-hop's seminal figures. I was drawn to hip-hop because I'm interested in how that is used to communicate certain aspects of Italian culture and communicate people's feelings and desires. Some of the, the best representatives of Italian cultures are precisely those that tend to be excluded from it. This is something that students in our classes have related to. Many students tell me they appreciate the contemporary picture that they're getting because it's messy and true. Because the world is not binary. It's not so clear cut. It's much more fluid. But it is up on us to be able to work with the differences and create something new.